A senior source in the Thai military has told Al Jazeera that former Prime Minister Ying Luck Shinawat is now under house arrest after being detained at a military facility. Now, it follows months of political unrest that has culminated in Thursday's military coup. Colonel Virachon is a spokesman for the Royal Thai Army. He joins us now on the phone from Bangkok. Thank you very much, Colonel, for being with us here on Al Jazeera. Please confirm for us, first of all, where Yingluck Shinawat is now. Um, hi, hi. Um, well, I just the ultimate information that I have with me at the moment is uh, not only the former PM Yingluck Shinawat has been detained, but uh, approximately 100 plus um, politicians that have been involved with the um, political conflict in Thailand has been detained. And the reason for that, uh, just we just want to you know, give them some time to think over of the issue so that they can uh, be more relaxed and um, come up with, I mean, be better off and come up with the, uh, a good option for themselves and for the country. And the way we, uh, even though we use the word intention, but we look after them uh, very well, VIP treatment, and it would not be very long, they will be set free. Uh, so just to be clear, is uh, members of the anti, the other side, the anti-government group, for example, Sutep Twabskoban, is he also under detention? Yes, they all are detention at the moment. Even former um, Prime Minister Apisek Rechashi were also been detention. Uh, it's just we want them to 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 talk, to discuss, and uh, you know we. we um, Keep them some time to relax, as I mentioned. Okay. And, um, okay, sorry, is it just is not, you, not that bad. If, yeah. if, if, uh, just to be clear again, if they're all uh, to be talking, we were under the impression that uh, Ying Luck Shinawat was under house arrest, but is that not the case? Are they being held somewhere else together? Uh, not the, they're not together at the moment, but uh, I'll just, uh, um, you know, we just have them um, be on their own and we look after them and uh, set the new environment for them in order that they can you know, have, have some, some time on their own to think not to be under pressure by their supporter or by their uh, influential person because most of the time uh, the conflict happened in Thailand because people um, you know, try to influence over the others. So where is Ying Lakshana what now? Where is she being detained? Um, I am sorry, I don't know. Okay. Uh, tonight in Thailand, it's the second night of curfew. Can you give us an idea yes. of just how long you're going to keep the entire country indoors for? Um, well, uh, we just informed the diplomat community today that, um, that this, and, and then to answer about the duration of for how long, uh, we are not determined the duration. The, the conflict and those who are involved with the conflict and the situation would dictate the, the duration of the period. We want, of course, to do this in a very brief fashion. If possible, you know, everything go right, we can finish it by tomorrow or next week. Uh, it's not our decision for how long, but it's, it, it's the, the situation. And um, if the situation, I mean, if they're all um, back to normal, the conflict can be resolved. And... Um, we can bring back to uh, bring peace back to the country, harmony back to the country. Then we can okay, you know, bring so you're, back to the country. So you're looking to the leaders, the various leaders who you've got detained at the moment, to come up with options. Once again, where is Ying Luck Shinawat, the former Prime Minister of Thailand? Where is she contemplating her options? Um, I am sorry, I, I, I don't know where exactly her about, at, where about her at the moment, and I have no information about the PM Ying Lak, but I only know that she is very well looked after. But, but you are responsible for her. It was the army who detained her, so how can you not know where she is? Um, we, I, I'm, I am not supposed to know everything. We, you know, we, mm -hmm. we have people looked after I and mean, deal with particular issues, and um, um, you just ask to, I mean, your agency just ask and contact me to do your interview, interview with you right now and um, without telling me uh, what kind of information you want to know. And um, I, you, you cannot expect me to know everything. All at no, but at it is quite time. a crucial question, isn't it? I should think many Thais there are quite concerned mm -hmm. to know where their former leader is. Um, not only 
uh, PM Yin Lang, I told you earlier, earlier that uh, all of the um, everyone that been on the list who been involved in the party, I mean involved in the, the uh, political political conflict in every which way. Some some people been uh, the influential people. Some people provide financial, for example, and they all been been um, well looked after, and you give them some time to think over of the situation. Okay, uh, Colonel Veritan, thank you very much for coming on to Al Jazeera with the information that you have for us. So let's cross live now to Veronica Pedrosa, our correspondent live for us in Bangkok. Uh, Veronica, I, I presume you were listening there into that interview. It, it does seem strange, doesn't it, that the spokesman for the Roy Thai Army, Thai Army has not been told the whereabouts of the former Thai Prime Minister. Um... Uh, it, I think that the Thai military is an extremely vertical institution and that information is um, kept in silos so that different people um, are only informed of what they need to know. Mm. So it doesn't, it's not, it's not totally, it, do you know what I mean? It, it does make sense and it may well be the case that Colonel Virachon does not know where... Um, uh, the former Prime Minister is. Uh, there have been conflicting reports, of course. It, is, it has been something of a mystery because there was a report a bit earlier that she was with some other government officials from her administration who were at a uh, base in Saraburi about two hours outside of Bangkok. And we can confirm they are there, but nobody can confirm whether Yingluck is there as well. And a senior official told us that his information was that she had been allowed to go home, and that she, but she remains under military supervision uh, and uh, military detention. Um, interesting also, I must say, to hear from Colonel Virachon that the political leaders, all 150 of them from both sides of the political spectrum, are being held so that they can think on their own. Uh, I, I don't think that that is in the law, as it were, as a reason to be detained. Okay, Veronica, many thanks for that. We'll uh, keep across events as they develop there in Thailand. Once again, a lot of very fast developments. Thanks very much, Veronica.